So yeah, I've been teaching skiing up here now for almost 40 years. Started with Robel Strabhar as my first director. Great guy, great influence. He's made me what I am today. Just Grin and Barrett, Gothic Crest of Butte, one third marathon. There was a 10K out on Slate River. Uh, the races were kind of just starting. People were getting interested in it. But mountain biking was one of the bigger things. And Cook Brothers, Dave Weens. Softball was huge in this town back then. We had fast pitch, uh, men's, there was even a women's team. It's a real individual sport town. Um, but there is a need, a social need for a team sport, a team activity. And so softball kind of filled that gap, that, that space that was needed. And of course, very social and still, still social today. Um, hockey's taken over in that sense as well in the wintertime, the, the social need for a team sport activity. Um, baseball itself was becoming a part of the um, town's youth program as well. I saw a map or a picture of Crested Butte way back in the, in the maybe 40s and it was the train station and behind it was a, was a baseball field and bleachers. Um, so they've been playing ball here for a long time and, and I know that each of these towns had their own ball club and played each other to keep things going. Probably that, that social need that I was talking about earlier. Um, so it's been a big part of this town and I wanna, I've always been one of those people that wants to keep it going here. Yeah, I mean, the school when I got here, you had to, you had to go, you had to take a bus to um, Gunnison if you wanted to go to high school. And we eventually built a bigger school. We were able to keep students in town and thus we started creating other sports, the school, school sporting events and, and uh, cross country, volleyball, basketball, um, track, all these sports started appearing as the, as the school developed and the, and the numbers grew. Soccer, that was the big one. It came in and got very popular with the, with the family and the folks in town. It kind of was the replacement for football that maybe Gunnison had. Rick Borkovic, many years ago, kind of reintroduced the Telemark churn out here. And so Telemark skiing got very big here in Crested Butte. Yeah. Uh, former Olympians in the Nordic world that came and, and uh, spent their time in this valley helping out and increasing the popularity of, of uh, Nordic skiing. Ingrid Butts, Rebecca DeSalt, um, to name a few. We've heard Blanc, right? He's, he's now competing in the Olympics. The Puckets were a very early influence in this town for U.S. ski team members. Um, the Western State had a great ski team back then. When I was in school, Josh Thompson uh, became an Olympic biathlete. So he was an influence here, and, and that sport became popular. Sven Vick was also a, a big influence in, in the Nordic skiing. We've got David Chidunski now, who's competing in the Olympics in slalom. Big month of snow in January. I believe we got 11 plus feet, but the season didn't turn out to be a, a top-notch one. Uh, just people doing things all over the place. Hacky sack was a really big sport when I was uh, first time local in this town. We used to take over the, the sidewalks, and set up our circles, and everybody walked around. It was one of the ongoing things that you did. 